Liddell is Rob tomorrow. Tomorrow, not tomorrow. To tomorrow from the U.S. and the name of the song was Don't Open Till Christmas. And we will not play this again till Christmas. I'm sure of that. Anyway, uh, Dr. Mark is at the hiatus. Uh, hiatus? What's the word? I can't pronounce anything today. Decided to take off. Where'd you go? You run away? No. Oh, okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We have to talk about a few things. Uh, we talked about Dr. Bird, uh, like uh, look, uh, Dr. Carson. And uh, Donald. Well, tomorrow is uh, another debate yeah, on the uh, Fox Business Network. Yeah, what channel is that anyway? Well, it depends. You have to go to the uh, your subscriber and look I it have up. The same subscriber as you do. Well, Fox Business on uh, Cablevision is a channel 106. Okay, I didn't know. Did yeah, you... but we're talking to people who have different well, servers. I understand that, but I just asked you. There are people from New York that listen to us. And they may have different subscribers as well, you know, Absolutely. different uh, providers. Check with your cable subscriber to find out what channel Fox Business Network is on. You know, I just found out something very interesting. The uh, the uh, the CNBC debates, those are the last ones, right? Yeah. They were supposed to be all about business also. Well, CNBC is... Uh... Channel 4's business uh, yeah, network. You know, but the uh, topic, what was negotiated is that they're going to talk about business with those... Uh, with the, uh, well, I have news for you, though. I mean, if you listen to uh, Ted Cruz and some of the other uh, people up on stage, you know, they want to do what Sarah Palin wanted to do back in 2007 for the 2008... Uh, election, she wanted to have them submit questions ahead of time, and she would decide which question she would answer and which question she didn't have to answer. I didn't hear that again, yes. It didn't happen. All they, I'm saying is CNBC is supposed to ask business questions. You know, each CNN asks news and politics, each one has their own specialty. Well, they were all, the first two were all news and politics. And then the next one was supposed to be business. I don't think they spoke about business at well, all. Well, CNBC was supposed to be business, but, uh, the, uh, well, don't forget, that was also, well, but that was because the uh, the moderators sort of lost control of the uh, debate because uh, the, P, the so-called debaters, those people who are running for, want to run for president, uh, we're busy arguing with the news people as opposed to, you know, answering questions. Because the questions weren't about business. Uh, I don't think it had anything to do with that. No, it was, it was, the questions were not, you know, were not relevant to what the, that, that night was supposed to be. I'm not saying well, according that, to whom? According to the agreement they made. Well, all I know is that uh, I happen to... Uh, Follow John Harwood pretty well, you know, from the Sunday shows when he used to be on before he became a regular on CNBC. And uh, I know that he happens to be a very good uh, journalist, you know, and uh, he took a lot of heat from, uh, you know, the 10 people that were on uh, the stage, you know, um, and then again, you know, you got somebody like the Donald who was asked a question and twisted it around and got an applause line. But a half hour later, Becky Quick realized, found the exact quote that he claimed he never made. But it was a bit late already because he had already gotten the applause line for it, you know. But still, again, we should, they should have stuck to the, 
to what they're supposed to stick to. That's I mean, if Democrats, Republicans, well, I know, anybody, uh, stick to what they say, agree to. That's what they're going to talk about. That's what you talk well, about. Why Democrats have nothing to do with this? Well, Why do you mention debates, Democrats when they get when they have debates? The same respect should be given to the Democrats. Is what well, I actually liked uh, Friday's forum with Rachel Maddow, not because it was on MSNBC, but because rather than have it be a debate, she actually spent 20 to 25 minutes, a, a good 25 minutes one-on-one -on -one with each of the uh, three Democratic hopefuls, mm -hmm. you know, uh, basically asking them questions uh, and giving them a chance to respond, you know. Now, I know that uh, on Fox Business, uh, Neil Cavuto is supposed to be uh, very knowledgeable, and Maria Bartiromo is also very knowledgeable. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. You know, I'm sure that we will, uh, we will have a little report on it on Friday. It's supposed to be business again, I think. Is well, Fox to... Business Network, yes. yeah. Yes, as long as it stays to business... It'll be, it'll be fine, I think. Let's, uh, let's not well, when you talk about, you know, I would anticipate that uh, the Donald will uh, probably shine in tomorrow's debate because he's probably the most successful businessman of any of them that are up there, you know. And, and, and women. And I'm, I'm sure that, uh, well, I'm sure that... Uh, then Carson will be asked certain questions based upon his autobiography. Uh, he was also in a business, you know, he's also the, a CEO for a while of a company or something, I don't know where. He has, he has some business experience. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens, and, uh, you know. We uh, watched Saturday, I didn't watch Saturday Night Live, but I think you did. No, I didn't. You didn't watch it either? No. I was busy with Chad. Didn't have a chance to, uh, you know, set it up, and uh, I was watching other things, so I didn't watch it. But from what I heard, it was funny, but not not one of the, not the funniest show. But it was. They got mixed reviews. But it was very successful as far as viewing audiences. It did very well. Uh, yeah, I think it, I think it was. I think it was. The highest for the viewing the last three, four years of the, of the show. Well, to uh, to use uh, Donald Trump terminology, it was huge. It was huge. Everything with him is huge. Yeah, well, you know, he does. Does express himself a little differently than some other people, and uh, he does have a good counterpunch, as they say. Well, look, you know, he he's a good host for something like that because he enjoys uh, a good joke at his own expense. He likes the limelight. Otherwise, he wouldn't be, you know, on TV so much, you know, with his reality shows and everything. Well, let's put it this way, you know, he, uh, it's already uh, November, one more year to go before the election, and he seems to be still uh, in, uh, far ahead of anybody other than Carson. He and Carson seem to be running neck and neck. You know. And everybody said he would be out by now. Now they're saying, that now they're beginning to realize maybe he'll be a little bit longer than I expected. Well, that plus the fact that, uh, you know, Carson has to learn how to take, you know, a hit every now and then. And sometimes it might even be a cheap hit, a cheap shot. But, uh, you know, this is what politics is. Well, he was he was trying to uh, turn it to his advantage. For the most part, I think it worked. But uh, you know, it's you know his base is the evangelical, 
and uh, no matter what, they like him. So uh, it doesn't seem to make a difference one way or the other. Let's see, uh, a few people got eliminated from the, uh... uh Chris Christie is, uh, on the, uh, junior, junior. the junior, uh, Jindal so, is no longer even, uh, on at all. Huckabee is on the junior team. Yeah, they now have eight people on, which really works out to their advantage, because it gives them a little bit more time to respond. And Lindsey Graham is gone. Gee, I'm really not sorry about that, you know. Yeah, the funny thing is that none of the Republicans seem to be uh, dropping out, you know. I don't know why. I don't know why there's always so many Republicans compared to Democrats. Anyway. Because, you know, nobody knows who the good ones are going to be. Well... Now we discussed sports already. Yeah, no, Very no. briefly. 